now move on to our final presentation for today. Jyoti Hazagarar, Deputy Director of the World Heritage Center at UNESCO. Jyoti, Dr. Jyoti, serves as the Deputy Director of the World Heritage Center at UNESCO and works on thematic indicators on SDGs across the sector of culture, but also looks at historic landscapes, urban planning, World Heritage Fund as well. She was also a director at the Division for Creativity at UNESCO. Today, we'd like to hear more about UNESCO World Heritage Journey, a sustainable tourism, a safeguarding, and promoting ICH. Please give Jyoti a big round of applause. To the organizers for the invitation to join uh, here today at the World Forum for Intangible Cultural Heritage. It's a pleasure to be here and I'm delighted to join this panel of speakers on the uh, topic of innovation and value creation. My presentation today will focus on World Heritage Journeys, a joint project with the National Geographic launched by UNESCO in 2016. The project was supported by the EU and I will be sharing how it has worked to promote and safeguard intangible cultural heritage through sustainable tourism. The World Heritage uh, Journeys uh, project was developed under the auspices of the World Heritage and Sustainable Tourism Programme, a specialized program adopted by the World Heritage Committee in 2012. Its mission is to manage and develop sustainable tourism at World Heritage properties through fostering increased awareness, capacity and balanced participation of all stakeholders in order to protect and, uh, the properties and their outstanding universal value. It works to ensure tourism delivers benefits for conservation of the properties, sustainable development for local communities, as well as quality experience for the visitors. Community-based approaches uh, for both the conservation and management of World Heritage properties, sustainable tourism, when managed responsibly and inclusively, can help contribute to the safeguarding of ICH practices and support the livelihoods of local communities. Pictured here is an example from the Tarragona in Spain, one of the properties featured in the World Heritage Journeys. The castles uh, or human castles are a deep rooted tradition in this property and a major uh, tourism drawcard. They've also been inscribed on the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. With this in mind, the um, Journeys project brought together local tourism and heritage experts to develop the first ever sustainable uh, travel platform uh, for world heritage. The objective uh, was to uh, inspire people to experience Europe's unique cultural heritage through thematic itineraries. The platform aims to encourage people to visit Europe's off the beaten track destinations and travel responsibly, staying longer in each destination and learning more about the local culture, including ICH. The project was divided into two month, two 18 month phases the first involved the development of the thematic routes and platform, and the second focused on the marketing of the platform. The platform is available in English, French, and Chinese. The World Heritage Journeys um, platform was produced together with National Geographic and features 34 heritage destinations and over 1,000 pages of in-depth in and inspirational content. The um, content was all curated by local experts, encouraging people to visit the destination, uh, the, the, each of the destinations the way locals would recommend. The platform also provides uh, travel, trade and media resources, as well as tools for World Heritage Site Managers. UNESCO created thematic uh, cultural routes to connect the different World Heritage properties across the EU and encourage travel across the region. Four themes were developed, Romantic Europe, Ancient Europe, Royal Europe and Underground Europe, each with suggested itineraries. 
The themes were developed in close collaboration with the EU following research, testing and consultation with heritage experts, travel industry, trade and media. As you can see, the project involves a diverse range of properties such as the palaces, cultural landscapes, cities and industrial sites. Capacity building and networking between World Heritage Properties was key for the project and we ran a series of workshops that brought together each of the thematic journeys throughout the period of the three-year project. Through training programs on sustainable tourism, marketing, communication and technology, we were able to exchange and share approaches to everyday challenges and create new opportunities for collaboration. Um, the intangible cultural heritage is an important component of the journeys and is featured prominently across platforms. Um, across the platform, the web platform and our social media uh, channels encourage people to support and engage with living heritage and its practitioners. The platform uh, features attractions. Um, experiences, stories, and legends that feature various local elements of ICH. Here, for example, is an example from Stadigrad, Croatia, where we showcase klapa singing, uh, agave lace making, and the procession Zakrizen in the local voices and legends section. These are all elements inscribed on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Another example is the Vilnius Traditional Crafts Program featured as one of Vilnius's recommended experiences where 15 galleries across the city host demonstrations of traditional techniques and tools, fairs and educational activities. To promote cultural heritage and sustainable travel at these World Heritage destinations, um, together with our media partner, National Geographic, we developed promotional campaigns and competitions, videos, photo exhibitions, a bookazine that you can see here on screen, uh, trade shows and familiarization trips for top US and Chinese travel trade and influencers. Here is a snapshot of some of the results over the project's second phase. During the 18 month period, we achieved 23.4 million impressions of the World Heritage Journey's EU content and over 400,000 visitors to visit euworldheritage.com. Our social media campaigns generated 7,000 posts and our World Heritage Journey's video series received 1.9 million views. In 2018, the project was expanded to include three Buddhist sites in Southeast Asia, thanks to funding from the Korea International Cooperation Agency. UNESCO is also currently working on developing World Heritage Journeys Silk Road, which will be launched next year as part of an EU funded project in the region. We're also working on expanding the Europe and Buddha journeys by adding new World Heritage properties in 2021-22. In terms of lessons learned and recommendations, what was vital for the success of this project was the engagement of both heritage and tourism stakeholders from the outset. This ensured inclusiveness and representation of different stakeholder groups. It also enabled continued collaboration at the destination level something that wasn't necessarily in place before the project. The EU had strong expectations in terms of visibility and collaboration with commercial tourism partners, securing a major media partner with proven experience in marketing and working with travel trade. That was therefore important to us to help us reach those targets. National Geographic is as an organization with a strong reputation for storytelling, scientific discovery and exploration. 
Together, we ensured we exceed the donors' expectations, but also helped secure additional funding and partnerships with organizations such as EuroRail. The project really demonstrated to us the value of investing in quality and engaging storytelling to highlight ICH in these destinations. Around 30% of the World Heritage properties involved also said that the project helped them secure additional government support and funding. While COVID-19 pandemic has caused unprecedented disruption to travel and tourism around the world, it has also caused many destinations and stakeholders to rethink tourism and prioritize a more sustainable and resilient approach to recovery. At UNESCO, we believe that this is an important opportunity to focus on tourism recovery that supports communities, creates jobs and promotes culture and protects heritage and its transmission. UNESCO was pleased to collaborate with the UNWTO earlier this year on the Inclusive Recovery Guide for Cultural Tourism, which, further, which features further recommendations on this subject. Before concluding my presentation, I thought I'd briefly share some additional information on our sustainable, other sustainable tourism tools and resources that may be of interest to the audience. The Sustainable Tourism Toolkit, or the how-to guides are available online and provide guidance to World Heritage Managers across 10 main areas of tourism management, including community engagement, governance, value and investment. The UNESCO Sustainable Tourism Pledge with Expedia Group that takes an industry first approach to environmental and cultural protection, requiring hotel operators to introduce firm measures to eliminate single-use plastics and support local culture. Over 4,000 hotels have joined the pledge so far and our new global platform will launch next month. We also launched a major project in seven countries. This year, thanks to funding from the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, which will promote COVID-19 tourism recovery through the pledge as well as training programs focused on traditional crafts, amongst others. The Visitor Management Assessment and Strategy Tool enables World Heritage Site Managers to rapidly and efficiently assess how tourism is being managed according to a set of sustainability indicators. By helping site managers establish a tourism management baseline, the tool supports proactive management to develop and implement tourism strategies. In closing, I'd like to thank you all very much for your attention and look forward to the panel discussion. Thank you.